You're an angel. What? She's not Canadian, bro. Hey, man, we saved these seats for you. Oh, fucking big guy. Come on, dude, we saved these seats in the front. Seen each other? First day. <laughs> First day, sir. Mm, I just want to kiss your faces. Wh which app did you meet on? Yeah. Uh, well, Hinge. <laughs> <laughs> That's the second. First. Yo, Hinge is going off right now. A lot of lonely people just fucking creeping away. What was your opening line? One line you say to every woman? <laughs> oh, uh, I should do. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, there's one way to find out what you said to her. If you pulled your phone out. <laughs> <laughs> and we just took a gander at the uh, seduce techniques that you use to pull. Honestly, stunt. You're, you're amazing. I don't know. You're also beautiful. And I know you're instantly regretting coming down here. <laughs> so I'll move on and maybe we'll chat later. What was your name? Seb. Seb, can we get a round of applause for Seb? Yeah. Oh, Seb is happiness and positivity. Um, so I, I was just telling everybody I was stuck in Australia because I was in love with a lady and then she cheated on me. <laughs> it's fine. No, it, I, probably because I went through her phone five times. But whatever, dude. Whatever. Invasion of privacy. It's not private if we're in lockdown. <laughs> and everything is a mystery. Um, there's more to that story, but I won't get into it. I probably shouldn't put this online. Um, but I, I, I left living with her to sleep with my friend. Well, to sleep with my friend. Um, my friend Kyle said it. <laughs> Sorry, they know Kyle. <sighs> they all know Kyle. I ne I've never fucked. Okay. So, no, look. How do I explain this to the regular people? Sam's looking at me like, yo, bro, you fuck dudes, dude? That's not hinge worthy. That's like field or grinder shit, man. Yo, you want field too, though? Yeah. You want field? <laughs> no, really. Not really? No, really? Oh, you think I'm talking about actual fields? It's just a dating app, but it's a bit. Oh, uh, uh, no, I didn't know it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> field is a dating app for people who just want to fuck or get like tied up and spanked. <laughs> <laughs> you into that shit? Yes, bro. Sorry, this is my friend, uh, Julia, and she likes getting spanked. Whoa! No! Yeah. Oh, is, that, is that a no? I like spanking. Spanky or spanker? Okay. So this show is now getting to a point of, like, getting to a weird place. But I was just trying to say that, so just to catch people up real quick. So when me and uh, my ex ended up breaking up, I couldn't come back to the UK, where I thought the UK was fun because I looked in the news and it was like Manchester in lockdown shut down 600 house parties and I'm like sick <laughs> right but then my buddy my buddy offered me he's like look you can fly to Sydney and you can stay with me and rent free we just have to share a bed <laughs> and, and, and I don't know if you like like Kyle is a scouse man <laughs> with curly hair who trims his stomach into a treasure trail. He's a white man who smells like cocoa butter. Constantly because he loves basketball. Do you know how difficult it is from cuddling someone you love every single night to then cuddling Kyle? I didn't want to cuddle Kyle. We went to bed as two heterosexual men and we woke up like it was Vegas. <laughs> Whatever happens in bed stays in bed. <laughs> right, we even started a TikTok called Two Guys, One Duvet. <laughs> Do you know it took us three months before we realized we could get two duvets? <laughs> We're both idiots. What about two beds? Two beds? Not made of Actually, that probably, we could have probably gotten an air mattress. <laughs> Yeah, but it was so nice because I he would smoke weed and get fucked up all the time, and then I, I would I'd crawl in the bed and I pretend to be sleeping when he comes in, oh, yeah. and then because he smokes a lot of weed, he would just like crawl in the bed and just start wheezing, just like, uh, uh, and he's another comic and he.
he just starts riffing on things because he knows I'm pretending to sleep because I got a half an eye open. He's like, the fucking window's open. <laughs> I can't do scouts. <laughs> All right. Well, also, what this show is and what's going to happen is I'm going to invite up friends to tell some stories. So I've got a couple friends here who I know who have some stories. So I'm going to invite them up sporadically during the show. And the first person I'm going to bring up is the spanker herself. <laughs> Show love and appreciation and support, okay? Can you do that? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up, Judah! Yeah. Okay, firstly, I'm friends with him and that ends today. Um, because this was not intentional. I'm supposed to be having one drink after work, and now I've had four drinks, two shots, and I love how you have four drinks. Four drinks. I'm Scottish, that's how we can. Anyway, um, he is forcing me to tell the story, but it involves him because, of course it does. Um, so, anyway, I had not seen lovely Evan for about two years because of the old pandemic. First time I saw him was recently, he wanted to go and see Top Gun. I didn't give a fuck about seeing Top Gun. Who wants to see Top Gun? He wants to see Top Gun! No one wants to see Top Gun. He assured me... It will be fun and we'll go. And I say what any self-respecting Scottish person says, I'll go if there's drinks. He says, it's a cinema, you can't drink. I say, you can drink anywhere. <laughs> so I take him to the co-op, we buy a two, is that a two pint thing of water? Yeah, that fits a whole bottle of wine, <laughs> FYI, if you're ever looking at. We go out in the street, we pour the bottle of water in the drain, and we start pouring the wine in. And a nice man comes over and goes, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm pouring wine in because we're going to the cinema. You can't drink in the cinema. I say, what every good Scottish person says, you can fucking drink anywhere. <laughs> so we fill up our water bottles, we go into the cinema. They don't search you, they don't search in the cinema. You can drink anywhere. I would recommend, if you ever want to go to the cinema with anyone, you would go with my good friend Evan, because it's like going with a toddler. Even in the adverts. I remember it was, uh, was it the new Toy Story film that came out? The advert, he went, oh damn, really loudly, just at the whole thing. So, the film get starts. Excited. He gets excited. The film starts, the soundtrack to Top Gun starts, and he starts to cry. <laughs> There's a difference between crying and tearing up. Okay, sorry. He starts to tear up. And he goes and he says, and normally, the only British thing about me, because I don't identify as British because I'm Scottish, is I will shush, thank you. I will shush someone if they talk in the cinema, but I will not shush my good friend Evan because he's so adorable. So he'll just be like, oh my God, it's Tom Cruise, he looks so good. Um, <laughs> They flash back to Goose dying and he cried. Um, <laughs> so anyway, we've got we've got a whole bottle of wine to get through. We're drinking it. Each. Each. Evan doesn't drink wine, by the way. You'll hang out with him later on tonight. He drinks everything else, but he doesn't drink wine. And it makes him a little bit weepy and it also makes him really fun. But <laughs> through the whole thing, I have not seen the first Top Gun in so long. Um, he had to remind me everything that was going on. I don't know if anyone's seen it, but there's a whole bit with Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer apparently can't talk anymore. He's got throat cancer, dude. He's got yeah. he's he's fun fun fun. Fun. So I wasn't invested, but after... <laughs> we'd had drinks before, and after Wine's In, I was fully invested. He stood up, and he spoke, and we bawled. We bawled, and everyone there, I think, wanted to shush us, because we were fully just like, Oh my god, he's actually fucking talking. Um, but yeah, no, Evan's forced me to do this, and the moral of the story is you can drink anywhere. Please never make me do this ever again. Yo, get drunk at a movie theater in public, dude. Because we went to a matinee, and when there's children around you and you're hammered, it's a feeling, dude. You ever get drunk at a zoo? 
Yes. Yo, who said yeah? Me, <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Sorry, I feel like you two are very confused. You're like, this isn't the football. <laughs> but you're still wearing your fucking Man City jerseys. You're like, man, they fucking stopped kicking that ball long ago. That's amazing. How was the game? Did you win? Big win. Big win. Big win. Big win. Fuck yeah. You guys gonna celebrate later? <laughs> Did you say fuck, fuck? <laughs> That, that, that's beautiful. I, I was assuming drinking, but you were like, wait, where are you from? Uh, Cheshire. No. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you want the guy in your corner, dude. I don't know if anybody in there could have cheered, right? You could have this lovely lady in a scarf being like, Cheshire! <laughs> I love the cat, but instead you got this fucking man just... Oh, I've made too many jokes on you that I'm running right, thin and I'm going, I don't know, man. Well, cause like, yeah, he's already said he looks like Joe Lysa, and I think he looks like Michael Sarah, where he lost the money in the banana stand. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like if you took the money and then spent it all on food. <laughs> it's okay, dude, we all put on some weight during the pandemic. Right, huh? Right, 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 right. Are you okay? Are you looking back at him? Do you, do, you, do you think he's handsome? No, well, it's a dog. Would you have matched with that man on Hinge? <laughs> no? What, what attracted you most to Seb? What, what does Seb do for a job? Australia when I started coming back to the Northern Hemisphere, I went to Canada and, and I made a series of videos that went like super viral of me surprising my family. So I showed up at my dad's work after not seeing him for two years and I wore a mask and sunglasses and I sat down and I'm like, hello! And I slowly unpeeled and he forgot my name. <laughs> uh, my whole, my, 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 family, my family forgot and I'm like, maybe I shouldn't be surprising my family members like this. I surprised my, the whole idea was to surprise my sister for her 30th birthday, and I showed up and she didn't cry. It was just me and my mom bawling, and my sister being like, I thought you were gonna show up, and I'm like, You suck. <laughs> surprised all of my aunts, and I released all these videos. I surprised my uncles, my cousins, and then when I finally got back to Manchester, the one person I wanted to surprise was my favorite bartender. <laughs> and 500,000 views later, this beautiful human being is now going to come on stage Yo! and tell you a story. There is love for this man. There is not one person more famous in the northern quarter. So will you please all give love for this beautiful human? And 
fell asleep with my pants and boxes still around my thighs. <laughs> with cum in my hand. I got awoken. I got awoken to my mum coming in the room going, Is okay, Jake? <laughs> so I try to open my eyes and went, Yeah, it's fine. Why? Well, what's up? <laughs> Not realising what I'd done, I looked down and went, Oh, yeah. So it's more of like a. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. It's okay. Um, since that day, she's never looked me in the eyes properly. But fuck her because she never gave me a younger sibling, so. Okay. <laughs> um, annoyingly, I actually got asked this question last night whilst I was working what my most embarrassing story was or what the worst thing you did was. And I told that story in my bar, working. To which three people, absolutely arsehole off the face, turned around and went, no. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, no? <laughs> Don't tell me my life choices, it's okay. <laughs> obviously, obviously, I've uh, grown up since then. And, um, did someone just clap, I've grown up? <laughs> Cheers, mate, thank you. Cheers, this fall. Um, obviously, I've grown up since then. And now I just... Went to a uh, really strange porn. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, um, James A. Cast with Dancing Drum just shouted up something. What'd you say, mate? <laughs> what you say? Welcome to the club. What's your favourite porn, Gregory? No, I don't oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 you say it now, come on. Weird. You don't just go and porn up type weird, that's weird. <laughs> All right, look, fuck it. Um, shout out to favorite plot, Greta, anyone? Ooh, no? Oh. No? Threesomes. Threesomes? Nice. You with four people tonight, it's gonna be a really tough choice, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I really think you should uh, toss a coin who's leaving tonight. It's gonna be very Jacob Taylor. I mean, you've already, you've already done that yourself. It's okay, it doesn't matter. Hey, you whistle me or something. <laughs> it's always lose, always a bit unfortunate. <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel, I feel so bad because Evan's Brittany and I, I feel, I feel like I'm just coming off with Brittany as well, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I appreciate you all, thanks so much for listening. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Jake! So this is Jake, and this is his partner, Taylor. Taylor just, okay, so the, the idea for tonight, so every one of these is supposed to be a different night, different themes, different fun, uh, and tonight I decided to have some of my friends on to tell stories. It won't always be like this, but as I sat down next to Taylor, who was supposed to come up and tell a story, and she was going to be like, I, I can't do this, just told me about a story she wants to tell, about how you... And Jake actually filmed the porn? No. Oh. 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 Hey Lola, what cat screen is it? Blue. What category is it? <laughs> so Definitely weird. Category is uh, first porn hotel room London. Oh. 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 Um, this was uh, someone was playing a basketball game in London. We decided in a hotel room to do something. <laughs> uh, it was filmed. It was posted. It was posted. That's what you
we need to <laughs>
talked about it. But the way he drizzled syrup on those fucking... <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. All right, uh, so then we, we've hit the half hour mark, but I'll, I'll tell you this one last thing about Australia. It, it's just a, a wild thing. Um, and it's a warning, right? Because nobody's been, nobody's seen it on the map. Where, where are you from, dude? The most casual man, arm up, fucking... Fucking right. <laughs> Bugats, Romania. Bucharest. Oh, Bucharest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you mean an actual city? Yeah, I don't know what you said, and I made up where Wizard of Oz goes to visit when he goes to Romania. Oh, uh, that's beautiful, dude. What brings you to Manchester? These two? Yeah, my wife. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> Okay, hush puppy. <laughs> 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 
I don't even smoke. So, uh, when I first went to Australia, I thought it was like snakes and spiders that were like the scary thing. And then when I got there, I'm like, oh, they also have drunk Australians. <laughs> right? Like, it's fucking terrifying down there. And like, it, okay, so like, I, I, I know there's, there's, there's like weird animals here, but like I come from Canada, we got bears and coyotes. But over there, they got like sharks, snakes, spiders, but they also have magpies. And I know you guys have magpies, but their magpies try to blind you. They swoop. You know how you guys sent all your convicts to Australia? I also think you sent all your asshole versions of magpies. Because these things, during mating season, they swoop at you and they try and kill Bill the eyeball out of your skull. And like crows, they never forget you. You can flip one off and then it shows up two years later being like, I know what you did last summer. Like even after lockdown, I saw a man walking down the street being swooped at, and he seemed happy. He seemed like, oh, hello, old friend. Oh, is it Richard? Thank you for the swoop, sir. And it's not even just the magpies, it's their fucking seagulls. Their seagulls are insane. No, no, if you go to Scotland, they're huge. But in Sydney, if you go to the Opera House, by the Opera House, right? The, the, the bridge of the Opera House. Their seagulls are so fucking wild that even all the restaurants, even McDonald's, warn you if you try to take take away food. If you try to get food to go. I walked in, I was like, yo, can I get some nuggets to go? And they go, are you sure? I've never had to consent on food before. I was like, yes, give me my nuggies. <laughs> and I walked outside with my nuggets, and I swear to God, a seagull came around the corner with just a neck tattoo and a knife. And he's like, get me. And I was like, no. And he's like, Ka -ka! and the other seagulls descended upon me. An ibis just out of a bin jacket over his shoulder, fedora, monocle, cigar, being like, give me those nuggets, see? <laughs> they started circling me, just snapping their wings like a scene in a West Side Story. It was wild. <laughs> You call them scousers? You call them scousers? Yeah. <laughs> wild, bro. But no, there's even a, a, a job, right? So if you go to any of the fancy restaurants by the opera house, there's a man who gets paid money to scare birds away with his dog. <laughs> that is a job! The guy wears a shirt that says Seagull Patrol, and he goes, ruff, 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 and the birds fly away, and he pays taxes. <laughs> but that is a job! Are you, are you, are you really? Thank you so much for joining us.